Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury and he is... D Bingers. And we're going to be blindfolding D Bingers and going through some keyboards. Look on the screen for the keyboards we're about to shoot out. Daniel. How are you? I wish I could touch you, mate. Uh. <laughs> Salad fingers. <laughs> I've got four keyboards underneath there for nice. you. Nice. And uh, would you like to blindfold up, please? And no then we'll get into it. Whilst he's blindfolding up, I'll tell you what we're going to do. You saw those keyboards we're shooting out. Dan is going to pop on the blindfold. I've set them all to a their kind of flagship piano sound. So I won't. I'm trying desperately not to give away what's underneath there. I'm going to have to recruit Taylor to fly in and take off the covers on there. Is that all right, Taylor? Taylor in. Right, I've got a whiteboard to record Daniel's thoughts as before, and then at the end, Daniel, we're going to do scores out of 10. Okay. Uh, but you were saying something, you've been reading the comments before, right? Yeah, and um, people were saying um, that sort of a level of consistency in terms of what I play in each of them, so, to, you know, we can compare better. And hopefully not in the middle of the keyboard. Yes. Oh, no. oh, but you yes. go, go around and play the same thing, and then you'll probably do it. You're going to start there. He's off. He's off. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you. Nice, okay. Let's try... Initial impression, Daniel. I've got to press you for it. Okay. Um, not the greatest piano sound I've ever heard and neither the best sort of feel, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's not what I look for in a piano, necessarily. Then my initial thought. Brilliant. <laughs> Concise! Uh, right, okay, let's try get the same thing. Same sort of thing. Um, much better, um, you know, feels uh, sound wise much more like a real piano, you know, like I feel like I'm okay. sort of in, in the room with a, with a real piano. Um, yeah. Um, sort of re reasonable touch. Again, it's not, um, it's not the best action on this, but um, in terms of the sound, the, you know, the, the piano sample, nice and rich, quite authentic. Yeah, how, how was the difference in the keys there? Um, what the you can go back and go back and forth. Oh. Yeah, I mean, just uh, I know I've used this word before in, in the descriptions, but this sort of just just feels a little bit plasticky and cheap. The bottom one, maybe. It's not terrible. I mean, it's it, it's certainly playable, but um, it's it's just like I don't know. It's a little bit a little bit squishy. Right. Yeah, cool. And uh, um, feel free. Yeah, feel free. You're around to the left. Your other keyboard's around to the left, sir. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard playing that one up there. Um, uh, not, yeah, it's not bad. Average sound in piano. Again, the, uh, the, I think this is potentially the worst action um, of the three that I've, I've played so far. Good, good, um, good, good feedback. Okay.
Um, right, <coughs> beautiful, beautiful sounding piano. Um, again, similar to um, I think the top right one over there here, my right, um, sort of authentic, real piano um, sounding sample. I feel like I'm in the room with the piano, um, and I can hear a bit of uh, the old pedal noise there. Just play the pedal. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I like that. In, in isolation, mm. it sounds, but when you were playing, I could, you've got such beautiful timing that you can, it, it's accentuating the timing, especially on that piece you're playing. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, and, that, and that's what you'd get again with the, the real, you know, I, I feel like um, all the boxes are ticked here to sort of, um, in replicating a, you know, a nice hand and piano. Right, do, do you want, right, go free range, mate. Change there. Oh, he's changed to the gospel patch. <laughs> <laughs> so I've accidentally, with my middle finger, changed Found the most gospel patch. I'll oh, change that. Keep right. playing on it. Keep yeah. playing on it. No, I don't know about this. <laughs> okay, but, right. I'm, like, two seconds. Um, oh. All right, back to the initial patch there. Um, I, I used the panel lock. You had a good pun there, Dan, off camera. Uh, <laughs> Pano Lakala. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Carry on. I'm sorry. It was much funnier when I let you just say it first time. <laughs> right. Let's. We'll get more like Alan Partridge all the time. Uh, free range Bingham. Mm. Beautiful, okay. I mean, comparatively, you could just... Oh, sorry, I mean, let, let me at least play... I, I can imagine that piano sample would be quite good for um, for, for for gigging because it's sort of like cut through. It feels like a mm -hmm. you know would be very applicable to that. Um, it's not terrible, but you know just you know if I'm comparing even just compared to the one below it, both action and sample just you know they don't they don't really compare. So yeah, but you know it's certainly not bad. I'm can not, I just have not... a bit of free range bingo on these other two? Yeah, no worries. Sorry, I'm just um, just trying to move blindfolded and also give you. <laughs> My thoughts on piano. First time Dan's been in the big room here, so we can get them all set up. First group of credit for, if, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, okay. We'll move on to this. Beautiful playing there. Thank you. Um, it just again, it felt like a, pretty much felt like I'm at a, a real piano again. Anyway, beautiful. Uh, oh, I must say as well, there'll be other videos coming out with us. We've got a whole day with you, mate. Yep. And there's going to keep an eye out because there'll be ones where you're not blindfolded and you better wait for those chords. Won't you? <laughs> but um, I've got here, I'm going to press you for some scores with the blindfold still on. Yeah, no problem. So uh, let's go for bottom. 
left keyboard so for this. you. Out of ten, please, sir. Um, can I with can you do decimal points as well? Oh yeah, you can do whatever you want, mate. I'm guessing I'm gonna go like nine point five. Oh. Yeah. Um, do you want me to elaborate or just the scores now? Well, you said about that. You said that the feel was best and the sound mm. was best. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that was nine point five. What about uh, the one above that? This one here. I'm going to give it a six. Um, I'll tell you what you said about it after when you take your blindfold. Okay. Uh, the one to your right and lowest. Um, this one's a seven. Oh. I don't know why I'm making that noise every time. <laughs> <laughs> and the one above that? I'm going to go an 8.5. I think I'd slash nine, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with my 8.5. 8.5. Right, yeah. what we're going to do is take your blindfold off and uh, yeah, do it. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Get the glasses on. <laughs> He's back in the room. Right. right, you've been playing Daniel Bingham. Mm -hmm. To your left, you have a Nord Grand Stage. Mm -hmm. uh, above that, a Yamaha Montage. Okay. And then that is a Roland Phantom 88. And the red herring we threw mm. in there was the Casio CDP uh. S100. Mm. But we're running it into my laptop here. I see what's going on And I was there, yeah. rocking a bit of Keyscape. Yeah, it's a now, classic. a big first question for me is, mm. did you feel that you were playing any software on that? Was it in terms of response, any latency? Mm, or? No, not one bit, no. No, I wouldn't have thought that at all. I had no idea. Because, yeah, we've done another video on key, and some people were asking how it, it felt, and it really is. I'm running a, a MacBook Pro with like an i9, and the samples mm. I've got are coming off an external drive. Mm. But it feels just as snappy, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, I guess the only thing that, um, that it lost marks against that one is that, is that um, cause, cause obviously you can use you know, different controller keyboards to use with that the, the only thing is you know the samples are pretty sort of like you know neck and neck but it's just the interaction between the feel it, because it's all in-house there they've mm -hmm. nailed it they've nailed the interaction and whereas you'd have to tw you know tweak or maybe use a different keyboard or something with that sample because it's just as good and i know there's several yeah. and i wanted to throw it in there that's only a three uh 300 quid keyboard one that i do really like the feel of i've said in previous videos yeah we did from, yeah, on yeah. The, check out that other video where you mm. play it I, yeah, I just th threw it in there because it just makes it, it's a real choice for people. When you check out the prices in the links, mm. um, you could probably get a second hand MacBook Keyscape and that for the price of some of these keyboards. Mm. And, um, and none of, recording wise, anyway, it's a different thing. Uh, what's your favourite feel out of all of them? Well, I guess it's got to be this. Yeah. Mm. And, and looking at it, can you see why? That's the um, Kawaii action, the James Kawaii action. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Kawhi, does it always rain on me? <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's great. They've Bridge just nailed it. The river Kawhi. <laughs> but, yeah. It's just, you know, I don't understand why these haven't followed suit because I'd imagine that price wise, I don't know what the price was. But they're, they're, they're a ton of money. Yeah. <laughs> and they're very heavy. Mm. Uh, Taylor's, we brought those over. That's one consideration. The Montage and this Roland were very heavy. Mm. The Nord, weirdly, were not, not so heavy. But obviously, well, we've got bucket loads of sound. That we're just picking their piano samples. Yeah. Um, I've and not the, played this before. It wasn't, they certainly weren't... I mean, this is the thing. It's like they are, um, they are used for other things as well. Mm -hmm. And then they're, they're not like... I'm not completely poo-pooing either piano. You know, they probably are really good and sound good in a mix or live and stuff and they do lots of other things so they're great but purely for piano well i think that that's beautiful hopefully you, you learned something you uh also learned that he's amazing with a blindfold on check out other videos where he's not blindfolded and for a little treat can you just play us out mate uh and just free range and eyes open enjoy the keyboards mm -hmm. i feel bad that in all those other videos i kept him blindfolded because you have no idea thanks for joining us if you like what we're doing Consider subscribing, and uh, if you don't, let us know. I give you Daniel B. <laughs>
<laughs> it's just that, that's actually quite precarious, you know. Yeah, like, I can actually panel lock it. Can you? Um, panel lock, yeah. Panel shock. <laughs> panel lock a lock. <laughs> 